Mark Cengizi here with your Science Moment. Today I'm going to talk about why different communities typically won't talk to one another. They won't engage one another, and instead they'll just swipe at one another. They'll do sort of uh, sick kind of behavior towards one another rather than actually engage in, in a kind of actual debate or constructive argument. Why is it that that happens? The reason that that happens has to do with the fact that different sub-communities end up with their own social narrative, which is kind of like a blockchain-like thing that's very hard to overturn. Within this, these different kinds of, of narratives, there's currencies that uh, are distributed amongst those members and give them reputations, higher and lower reputations. And it's a different currency in the other social narrative. And that leads to each side disvaluing the other side's currency because it has no use or very little use within their own community. So let's, let me give you an example um, with regular old currency like or something more akin to regular old currency. Suppose that there's two tribes. You've got the dog tribe and the rabbit tribe and they're constantly debating and or not, not actually debating but they're constantly razzing one another about who's faster, who's quicker. And the dog community is really only interested in dog treats. That's that's their entire currency. It's all based on dog treats. And in the rabbit community, it's just carrots, right? So now they could settle this once and for all by actually just sort of, a, you know, a, a debate, some kind of thing that would finally settle it would be, let's just have, have a race. And they could make it interesting by saying, let's just go do this race and uh, we'll make it interesting. You put up a certain amount of, uh, of dog treats, you dogs, and uh, we bunny rabbits will put up a certain amount of, of our carrots, and then the winner will get all of the other person's stuff. Now, the problem with that is that the dogs are like, well, I don't, I'm not interested in winning your carrots, and the rabbits are like, I'm not interested in, in winning your dog treats. And even if I was to get your dog treats, there's so little interaction between our communities that there's no currency exchange rate. It's almost impossible. The trade volume back and forth uh, is so low that if I get stuck with dog treats as a rabbit, I can't do anything with it. Right. So that's the problem. The same sorts of thing happens in two different communities. What makes people want to engage with the other community is that in arguing with one another, I put up social capital on the line. I make a very strong claim. I say, no, I'm right and I'm very confident or I think you're wrong. You're totally not what you're talking about and, and you're not confident at all despite what you're saying. Each time I do that, I'm pushing in social capital and that makes me be somewhat honest because I'm worried about lo losing it. But also the reason we play this game, the way that social, arg social animals debate and discuss with, with one another is not, and what keeps us honest is that we're betting social capital that matters to us. But what also makes us engage is that we have the chance of potentially winning social capital from the other guy. I can win your reputation. But if you're betting in carrots, and I don't want carrots, you're betting in a social reputation, a currency from another tribe that has very little or no value in my tribe, well, there's just very little to, little, there's only something for me to lose. I can lose something of value to me, for which you don't even care to get it, and but I can, I have nothing to gain. Neither of us have anything to gain by engaging with one another. We only have something to lose. So the problem with having these different kinds of communities with different social narratives that have very little talk, cross talk with one another, is they, they end up with mutually disvalued currencies and that makes them unwilling to engage one, with one another. And it's just not rational to do so. The way that you solve this problem, or one way to, to solve this problem, is to increase the kinds of interactions be the, between the communities. With more interaction, there's more, in some sense, trade volume between them. There's more social currency going back and forth. Like, if there are some members from that tribe that are, are invited to our tribe's you know, uh, uh, gala events, then then sudden, suddenly the social capital of one can sometimes be traded for social capital within the other. And it creates more volume of trades back and forth, which means that if I end up with your carrots, I can trade it over to get the dog treats that I really like, those sorts of things. So the way that you can get over the problem of two communities failing to actually engage one another is to create more trade volume. And that means having more interaction between those communities. And that was your science moment.